This is an astronomy shock. Comparison of old and new star catalogs show that 100 stars have vanished. This is on bedded reality. Headline image caption, where did it go? An image taken in the 1950s left shows a large object at center that does not appear in the image of the same field taken more recently by Villa Roel et al. Physics in uh, Sweden and the Institute of Astrophysics on the Canary Island report something strange in the current issue of the Astronomical Journal. They compared star maps from the 1950s with recent surveys and discovered that 100 previously catalogued stars cannot be found anymore. It's not the uh, quality of the image that is to blame. They actually had previously cataloged those stars, and they're not there anymore. The group's project called Vanishing and Appearing Sources During a Century of Observations, VASCO for short, has been compared mapping stars listing in the U.S. Naval Observatory Catalog, USNO, B1.0, dating from the 1950s with those in another more recent sky catalog, the PANSTAR data release, DR1. A total of 150,000 objects were found in the older catalog, which lists 600 million stars, that did not have a readily identifiable counterpart in the new star survey. Even though the PAN stars data release includes stars that are five times less bright than the faintest light sources included in USNO. Of these 150,000 anomalies, the authors visually inspected 24,000 candidates and discovered that 100 of these point sources of light appear only in the older star survey, and since then apparently they have vanished. Certainly, the most Parsimonious explanation of the missing stars is that they are natural phenomena such as extremely flaring dwarf planets, failed supernova, or stars that might directly collapse into a black hole. But there seems to me too many anomalies to explain all the vanishing stars as known natural phenomena. In their current paper, the authors themselves discuss the possibility that they're seeing unknown phenomena or that the vanishing stars, quote unquote, could be relics of technolog technologically advanced civilizations, particularly the theoretical mega engineering projects known as the Dyson spheres. Perhaps the missing objects are signs of, a, of an advanced civilization, but they're probably not Dyson spheres. First, it would be hard to explain why and how such a giant construction project, completely shading out the light of the whole star, could be done within the short period of less than a century. But most importantly, Brooks Horup and I showed nearly 10 years ago that the traditional Dyson sphere are, spheres are not gravitationally stable. Even if one could build near a star like our sun, it would require more total mass than is available in all our solar systems, planets, moons, and asteroids. So what are the missing stars? A few might be explained as flaring stars whose brightness dropped below the detection limit or stars that collapsed directly into a black hole. A large portion might represent new stages in the life cycle of certain stars or new stellar phenomena that have not yet been seen. That by itself would be an exciting topic to investigate. Another intriguing question, where are the missing stars? Are they at the same location, just not emitting light anymore? or perhaps they've moved to some other location. If the latter, could some of these represent huge starships the size of moons or planets that moved outside the field of view? This, of course, is a highly speculative suggestion, but it would address the hotly discussed Fermi paradox and would, in principle, be testable. If these missing light sources represent giant starships, some should appear in a new star survey in some other part of the sky. In an ideal case, we might even be able to track their trajectories through time, and it would be challenging, no doubt, to pick up, out such motions against other background mov movements in space, like those of stars spinning around the center of the galaxy. 
Nevertheless, my suggestion to the authors is to focus their, their future work on light sources that suddenly appear in new star surveys and see whether they can be correlated to the stars that vanished. In her paper, Villa Royale suggests that another very promising direction for future research to search for clusters of missing stars, which if they, if they exist could be related to new natural phenomena in a particular region of space, or perhaps to activities of an extraterrestrial civilization. Either way, the authors have turned up something that may become very important for both astrophysical and SETI investigations. This is by Air and Space Magazine, Dirk Schulk Makuch, and it's on Bended Reality. If you'd like to join me on my Patreon account, you will hear content not covered by mainstream media. These riveting stories will be based on my research and I will state my opinions and give my personal insight on diverse and controversial subjects and world events, events not covered by mainstream media and not certainly on not supported by YouTube guidelines. So whatever I have on my Patreon, most of those will not be on my YouTube channel. Please consider becoming a member today. More of the, the most significant and important videos will be on my Patreon channel. Your support helps me to continue my research and keeps this YouTube channel alive. And we depend on your support, your generous charity, because we help economically challenged families here in Athens, Greece in Capota, and we also help the young generation with university tuition and the community around our church. Thank you.